I'm the only major candidate who opposed this war from the beginning. And as president, I will end it. Second, I will cut tens of billions of dollars in wasteful spending. I will cut investments in unproven missile defense systems. I will not weaponize space. I will slow our development of future combat systems. And I will institute an independent Defense Priorities Board to ensure that the quadrennial defense review is not used to justify unnecessary spending. Third, I will set a goal of a world without nuclear weapons. To seek that goal, I will not develop new nuclear weapons. I will seek a global ban on the production of fissile material, and I will negotiate with Russia to take our ICBMs off hair trigger alert and to achieve deep cuts in our nuclear arsenals. Do you know what America, do you hear America, what Obama's going to do to us? He will literally crumble us. Why I give you some other advice, Senator Obama? Why not we just give our nuclear weapon to Iran? We can make some money out of it. Since you're not going to make any more, we, we got plenty here. We can give some to Iran and some to Saudi. You're going to be visiting with uh, your, your buddy, Mahmoud Abdelnajad, and have coffee with him. Just offer him. We give him half of our nu nuclear weapon. The, the, the 53 seconds, we, this passes the last statement, he said, 53 seconds. If American people think of it, in one minute, they will remove this man from his senator as a position to serve in this country. He's no good to us. Remember what Clinton did when he was the president for, for eight years? North Korea got the nuclear weapon. And I promise you, the next two years, if Senator Obama becomes the president, Iran will have her nuclear weapon. I bet my life on it. And he will demolish our own weapon, our own power. We live in the world. His daddy taught him. The Muslim daddy who married his mama after the first daddy lived. He taught him the strong take over the world. Go read in his book. The big fish eat the small fish. If you have more power, you can control the world. You can rule the world. That's how the United States of America controlled the world the last, uh, since World War II. World War I, World War II. Because we are powerful. He's going to make us crumble. With no weapon. First law he's going to pass to you, Christian in America. Hate speech law. The new bill he's passing. Where Christian no longer can talk against anybody else who hurts their feeling. Next year, if President Obama became the president, Senator Obama became president, I will not be able to do my ministry. I will be in some prison somewhere. For Muslims are following me now, and they know what I speak, and they come and hear me, care, organization, and other, and they will record 10 minutes of my speech, and I will be in prison, according to hate speech. You have a gift from God. Nobody else in planet Earth has freedom of speech. You're going to lose it next November. Do you know that President Bush vetoed this bill six months ago? He doesn't even know what good he's doing to us. Freedom of speech. Next bill, for sure Obama will pass, is take your guns away. You don't need a gun. I'm going to put you more soldiers. I'm going to put you more police officers. Don't worry, you don't need a gun. Just give me your gun. And I don't know what else is going to do. Oh, one, one, one very important thing. All those who make lots of money, take the money from the rich and give it to the poor. That is, that is the agenda of the Democrats. Not help the poor to be rich now. Keep the poor poor. Give him one more fish every day. Warfare, Her, listen to me, people on warfare. Warfare is one thing and one thing only, is crumbling your children and grandchildren to be poor for the rest of their life. I came to this country 30, 14 years ago, 15 years ago, and I have nothing. I have zero money. And now I'm worth more than half a million stuff I worked for for 18 years. You can be rich too. Or you can wait for Uncle Sam through the Democrat to feed you and give you one more fish, give you another check every month, $500, and you will be poor and your children will be poor. I think if I'm a king, I'll make a new law. All those who are on warfare, who for whatever reason, except they're handicapped, they cannot work. They have no hands, they have no feet. Anybody else who are on warfare, who receive a check from Uncle Sam, he have no right to vote. The Democrat party for sure will lose. This man... Speak with a fork tongue. Half he praise our military, and the other half he condemn them. Like all Democrats, I believe, have spoke very harshly against Bush, against our soldiers, the last whatever year since we started the war in Afghanistan and in Iraq. Spoke if, I mean, they just hear a rumor from Muslim jihadists, and they make it a big deal in America. 
and one rumor after whom, or one rumor, they call them uh, blood, uh, what called blood murder, they call them a, a, a rapist, they call them uh, whatever names they call them. They have no respect for our soldiers. One of the things they want to do is this next election here, they don't even want to count their votes. They'll do everything they can to stop counting the votes of those who are supposed to have every vote for a hundred of Americans. Every soldier should have a vote equal to a hundred of us. For a sitting in a home comfortable, and they are on the front line sacrificing their life. In one word, he said, we need to bring him home because it was a wrong war. He voted against it, first place. No, it's not a wrong war. If you know what Islam is, it's the right war. If you go to war in Iraq, if you go to war in Egypt, my home country, if you go to war to Syria, if you go to war in Iran, if you go to war in Afghanistan, if you go to war in Saudi Arabia, if you go to war against the one and a half million Muslim jihadists who live in us, with us here in America, it's the right war. And I'm not for war. Because I don't think that's a war that's going to be won by bullets. This is a war that will be won with education. When American people open the Quran and read it. If you don't know what Muslims believe, you have no clue who are fighting. We're in war. Not because we choose to, because Muhammad taught them this in the Quran 1400 years ago. Deception. Not knowing is causing us to lose everything. America are no longer a slave. We are in a coma. We're in a coma to get somebody like Keith Allison, the congressman of Minnesota, who told us if he won, he will swear on the Quran. And guess what? He won because so many Christians and those others vote for him. Simply because he's a Democrat. And then they clap hands. <laughs> hooray, hooray. We got ourselves a good Democrat uh, congressman. So is Senator Obama. And now American people are going to elect the first Muslim president. Not knowing anything about Islam, not knowing anything about Obama. I cannot tell you who to vote for. I have no right to tell you. But I will repeat what Louis Farrakhan said to the nation of Islam. I have taught you enough sense. If you don't believe what I said, go open the Quran and read for yourself. To know what is Islam. What is their agenda? They said, someday, the Muslim flag will fly over the White House. And this someday is next November. You vote your conscience. You vote as God speaks to your heart. I don't believe in Democrat. I don't believe in Republican. I believe for the person I'm voting for. I know. For some American, if Satan run as a Democrat, he will, they will vote for him. Simply because they are Democrats. And for the other half, if Satan run as a Republican, they will vote for him simply because they are Republican. And that is stupidity. And I also, I would like also to say that no vote for McCain is a vote for Obama. Obama would love to see all Americans go vote for the independent person, whoever is going to be running. Because that will give Obama the victory next election. Some people said, well, there's so many questions here we can ask you. And I'm not going to give you a question answer time. I'll just ask a couple questions here. Obama is for homosexuality. That proves that he's not a Muslim. Really? If everybody in America become homosexual, that's a great victory for Muslims to take over this country sooner. Why? Homosexual, by the way, live 46, 47. Every two guys do not have any babies. Every two girls do not have any babies. And the number of Muslims is growing, growing, growing. Every man in America has four wives. We have so many Muslims in America right now. They have four wives. They divorce three on paper. And they are in welfare system. And we are feeding them by welfare system. And he living with four of them. I know for sure this exists. So many people have assured me of that. Policemen and other people who go and see cases like this all over our country. But then somebody else say, you know, Obama is for abortion. That proves he's not a Muslim. For Muslims do not believe in abortion. Really? Do you know that Saudi is willing to send money for all American ladies who would like to kill their babies? The more baby you kill, the less American, the more Muslim. That's how we take over of America. That's how Muslim can take over our country. And all this excuse you're going to give to me that Obama is not a Muslim. Obama is a Muslim because simply he is born of a Muslim daddy. Because simply he said the Shahada a thousand times. Because simply he was dressed like a Muslim until he was 20s. Because simply, can anybody tell me what was his faith? Before he joined Jeremiah Wright Church. 26 years old man. He was what? An atheist? Oh somebody. Oh, his, ma, his grandma. His grandma. Taught him about Christianity. His grandma in the book. In his book. Used to take him to the bar. 
Going to the bar does not make you a Christian, is it? 